What's going on, guys? Do you got a mower deck that still has your side chute? If you're lucky. Because the hinges, factory hinges break? Let me show you here. Quick, easy, cheap solution. And then they're going and trying to find one at a salvage yard or if you can find some aftermarket company that'll sell one. You know, when the factory with springs on there, when they snap and break on the chute, let me show you here. Quick and easy way to reinstall your side chute so you know you can still flip it up out of the way or whatever you need to do or take it off and put it back on depending on where you're cutting and things like that if it's you know a lot of people take them off because they say it's in the way and a convenience but yet if you don't have it on there it's gonna go through grass and everything all over your flower bed and all up in your face the wind's blowing things like that let me show you what i did here a really cheap and inexpensive good quality easy way to fix it when it breaks and it's, personally i think it's better from the factory it's something they should have done it's no different than on your deck it's your quick pull pins it's just a really big one just like what holds your deck on here's your quick pull pin it's a really big one that's all i did with <clears throat> simple a cheap inexpensive gate hinge and this is your uh your your, your v-shape or your triangle style gate hinge I just ran two nuts and bolts, just drilled them into the side chute here, <clears throat> and nut them, bolted them on the back side. And I took cutoff wheel and made a slit right here in the chute so I could slide that piece of the hinge to it. Then I mounted the other half right there on top of the deck. And actually, this is aluminum. Uh, it's just filthy dirty. That's why it looks like that hinge is rusted. That hinge is not rusted whatsoever. Uh, you know, the deck might have some surface rust on it and whatnot, but, or mud and all that crap. But, yeah, this is actually aluminum. It comes from Walmart, by the way. I think it was like 89 cents. And the pin, well, I already had a bunch of them. But they're, yeah, around 80 cents also. They both of them for under a buck. And like I said, it just gives you a couple nuts and bolts. I use nuts and bolts in this. Let me tell you why. Instead of using self-tappers, well, this is plastic. It might get hot, you might hang it up on something and bend it, twist it, you know, like everybody knows. So this way it wouldn't break and rip out. That's why I use nuts and bolts with washers. And on the deck, I did the same thing. Like I said, but you, it's quick and easy. You can take it off, you know, if it's in the way, if you're cutting around some stuff and it's in the way. Um, or if you got a, a, a smaller trailer that's, you know, maybe like a... One of them smaller ones, like a little homemade one, or maybe like a little four by six trailer that you get a tractor supply instead of like a you know a, a four by eight or you know a you know six by twelve or uh, if you got a real small trailer that with the side chute uh, on it won't fit. And say you have a gas can and a weed eater and all crap, so you got no way of you know flipping it up out the way. Here's how you can just simple, e simple, easy take it off, and so it's up out of the way. Not to mention. One of the best benefits of being able to take it off like this, if you do have a bagger that attaches and you got to take a side chute off, quick and easy way to pull it right off. It takes, you know, seconds. You just set it on there just like that. There you go, and slide it on. And, I said, and, it, and it's in there, you know, it's good and tight. It ain't going to vibrate loose or come out. You know, you got to take some muscle to pull it out and stick it in <laughs> no pun intended yeah pulls right off there you go guys there's a quick easy way to better remove your side chute when it breaks from the factory and or a simple upgrade that's more convenient like i said if you like using you know a bagger and things like that all right there you go Quick, easy way. First, like I said, it's better from the factory because the factory, them shitty fucking springs that come in the factory, you know what I'm talking about, that little wound up coal muck, it's about six inches, and they snap, you know, the end, one end of it curls up underneath the deck, uh, into the opening in the deck, the other one hooks right up in there with that bar that's got the two little caps that pop off. Yeah, those are a pain in the butt. I'm gonna say when they break, good luck finding one, you know, because you can't, they're, they're junk, and that's why it's not even aftermarket. They don't hardly, you can't hardly even find them at the market because everybody knows they're junk. So they make other 
um, ways of attaching it. But, all right, guys. Like I said, here's what I think is a good quality and easy way to replace it. And it works a hell of a lot better. Let me know what y'all think about that video. I just thought I'd give you a helpful tip. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Y'all hit that subscribe button, please. It helps out my channel greatly. Got more com videos coming to you. Y'all have a great day. Damn! Y'all hear that storm out there? Shit's coming down. Later!